On Point from the Somerdale Church of Christ. I'm Ray Reynolds, and we're sharing some thoughts from the book of Proverbs. Been going through a proverb every day through the month of August. We come now to August 7th and to the seventh chapter of the book of Proverbs. Wisdom of Solomon is very unique. It's different. Some of the things he shares are from his own personal experience. He does a little more of that in Ecclesiastes and Song of Solomon. But he's saying to his sons, you know, I need you to, to follow my instruction. I need you to be wise. You need to do what I say. If you do what I say, you'll keep yourself out of trouble. And this particular chapter, he almost takes us back in a maybe a flashback kind of way uh, to describe something that happened in his life. I do believe that this is probably Solomon who's sharing this thought beginning uh, at verse 6. He says, I looked through the window of my house. I looked through the lattice and I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youth a young man devoid of understanding. A man who really had no clue what he was about to get himself into. And as he shares this thought, it again sounds very personal, whether it's him or he's talking about someone who's shared this, this knowledge. He says, this man is approached by this harlot and she just wholeheartedly just takes him. I mean, she just takes him in. She, uh, she, she's able to lie to him. She's able to, not just in deception, but also with a, a malice intent to try to get him to do what she really wants him to do. And so Solomon says, you know, hey, look, I, I'm, I remember this as clear as day. And this kid was as dumb as a box of dirt. You know, he, this kid had no understanding. He was completely devoid of it. He had no wisdom. And he made this foolish mistake. And we live in a culture that has basically sexualized everything. Uh, you can't turn on your television or turn on your computer or uh, even pick up your iPhone and see uh, a, an entire message of just all positive things. There's always something in there, some kind of an advertisement or maybe someone even we know that's posted something that's inappropriate. And you're just like, oh, man, how can I, you know, get away from all of this garbage? Well, unfortunately, it's the world that we live in. But you and I can focus our minds on something spiritual. And that's the message that I think is coming across here. Do whatever you can to think about something that is godly, about wise, righteousness, things like that. Uh, and you'll have the understanding needed to avoid such terrible scenarios. So think about that as you go through your day, as you go through your week. What are some things that are having a negative influence on me and how can I avoid it? Specifically when it comes to things that are um, you know, over-sexualizing things in our culture um, with advertising and movies, music, entertainment, and such. Let's stay away from that kind of stuff because we, we're described basically here, if we do that, as someone who's just completely devoid of understanding. So I hope that helps you. Uh, go make it an awesome day. I'm Ray Reynolds. Thanks for tuning in to On Point. In the storm,